I shouldn't have read that book, people. I shouldn't have read that book. Oh my gosh, I should definitely not have read that book. You know, I read that book, and dude, I am not joking. This is scary as shit. Uh... Oh, that's like... No. Anyway, this is a review. Back to the M News. Due to the 2013's most freshly recreated horror films, I've chosen, I've already done a review on this actually, uh, The Evil Dead 2013. Uh, I've, I've chosen again the, 20, the, 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 the Evil Dead 2013 because I don't think I was fair the last time I uh, went ahead and I graded this one. Uh, I saw this in theaters and my co-star, Lane Urban, uh, this movie is based upon the old Sam Raimi film, you know, created by Sam Raimi. Yeah. Uh, the horror classic. People can't forget that old classic. You know, it's about a group of teens who go out to the woods and they read a book of the dead. And, of course, in the nearby woods, releases demons. Leave this book alone. The demons go and possess them. They even kill each other with them. Uh, some even go crazy. <laughs> Such as Bruce Campbell's character, Ash, from the old one. This one doesn't have Ash in it. This one has Jane Levi and a whole different cast. This cast is really good. This cast is our great at acting. This movie was such a a great success on a success on its acting part the part the acting in this was just magnificent everybody acted like they were afraid and it looked like they they were all afraid i mean it was perfect good cast for a good movie uh the cinematography in this movie was outstanding when you sat there and you watched this movie in theaters or even at home you'll see that it almost kind of feels like an old classic horror film like if you were sitting and watch like it almost had to do with the in a way of like almost like the woman in black when he sat there and you're like oh my gosh this is like an old gothic horror film this is like that but when it comes to like the blood and gore now this movie was by far more gorier than the old evil dead the old evil dead was nothing compared to this when it came to the score uh they did stuff in this one that they couldn't do back then because they didn't have some of the technology to do stuff with <laughs> you don't understand <laughs> I must say, there's not much of a difference. Uh, you know, there's, they're both just as equal. They are both just as fun to watch. Uh, you know, I don't think no one can replace Bruce Campbell's Ash, but they came close. Uh, you know, me, my friend, and his girlfriend had a great time in the theaters watching The Evil Dead. Uh, there was no more fun than that. Uh, you know, uh, it's about, okay, the, the movie, it's changed a little bit, but it takes place, and you know, you have the the main character, this time it's a woman, it's a girl, uh, she's a druggie, and the reason that they're out in the woods in the cabin is because, you know, the mother's lost, and that they want to get her off these drugs, so, intoxicated her in a way, yeah, they get off the drugs, you know, she promises she won't smoke or do anything there again, she starts seeing things, and they think it's because of the drugs, you know, she's starting to shake all the time, she's starting to walk around like she's all really pissed off, so they, they go and, you know, they make a promise with each other, be, with behind her back, they go and make a promise saying, you know, they'll never let her go. Uh, they'll never let her leave. So they'll sit there and, 
They have the keys in their pocket and, you know, won't let her leave, no matter what. Well, she sees something, you know, in the woods, trees, tack her and everything, you know, woods, like the old one, and, uh, you know, she goes and says, you need to get me out of here, she wants to leave, and they, and, but this one, they refuse to let her leave, because, you know, she, she needs help, and she needs to understand that drugs ain't good, uh, you know, uh, but at the most part, though, it's pretty much what this movie's about. And the tone of the movie is so dark, but so much fun. Uh, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I didn't want to go to the bathroom in the theaters because it was so much fun. Uh, is it one you want to check out if you're a horror fan and you're a Sam Raimi fan? And yes, yeah, Sam Raimi produced it, and so did Bruce Campbell. It is a fun ride. Uh, directed by Feed Alvarez. Uh, what a great director right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know... I really enjoyed the movie. It wasn't like the other horror movies. It was a tad bit better because, you know, sometimes they would overdo it, you know, but this wasn't overdone. It's evil dead. Evil means evil. You see blood coming out of someone's, a woman's mouth all over a woman's face. It's evil. You see a woman cutting her tongue open and making out with another girl. That's evil. You know, it's evil dead. What do you expect? I was expecting the same exact thing when I heard the trailer. Oh, they're remaking evil dead. They're going to have a lot more technology. Let's see what they're going to do. And they did it. Uh, I enjoyed this movie for what it was. Everybody did it, actually, there. Uh, you know, I think my friend Lane would agree with me to give this thing above a 9. So I'm going to give The Evil Dead 2013 a 9.6 out of 10 because it was so much fun to watch. And it's one you do want to check out. Tomorrow, actually, July uh, the 16th this year, it comes out for Blu-ray and DVD. You might want to get that and check it out. Uh, do I recommend kids watch this? No, I don't. Uh, if you want your kids to watch this, you might go right ahead, but I just don't recommend it. Uh, do I recommend horror fans watching this and everybody else? Oh, yeah, definitely. Check it out, though. Tomorrow it comes out for Blu-ray DVD. I'm hopefully going to get it. Uh, that's all for the M News tonight. Uh, if you haven't noted, if you uh, haven't seen my last, my other, er, my next interview is going to probably tell you about my special guest. Uh, I won't spoil it right now, but you'll see it next video. Um, that's all for this review. Have a great day. You are all going to die tonight. I read a passage from that book. I released something evil. Go this way. <laughs> <laughs>